In this lesson, I would like to show you how to use the mouse, click its buttons, and more importantly, when to click its buttons. I'd like to start with a diagram of how to hold the mouse and where to place your fingers. Um, obviously, up here on the right uh, side of your top of the window here, it says right click, middle finger. When you place your hand on a mouse and you place your middle finger on the right click button, it will force your first finger, your pointer finger, to rest uh, uh, nicely on the left click part of the button of the mouse, which leaves your ring finger and your pinky finger and your thumb left to grip the rest of the mouse so that it doesn't move or scoot across the desk when you're using it. Well, let me show you what happens when that happens. I'm going to move over here to this mouse buttons folder and I'm not going to hold the mouse very tight and I'm going to try to click on this folder. And if you see here, it's kind of scooting it across the desk. So you can't let that happen. You've got to hang on to the mouse and click onto the file. Don't let the mouse move at all. Now I want to explain the left click of the mouse right now. Um, a left click, obviously, when I click on this folder, highlights it a kind of a gray color. And pretty much all it's done was make a selection. And I guess to explain a selection is that anything that I do right now with the keyboard, it will apply to that folder because it is the one that is selected. It's almost like pointing to an object and saying, everything you do, do it to that folder. That is a one-click selection. Now, the left click is also what they call a double click. So I can go ahead onto this folder and go two clicks. And of course, I'm going to hold down the mouse tightly with my thumb and my other two fingers so they don't move. And I'm going to click twice and watch what happens it's actually going to open the folder. Click, click, up, oh, it sure did. So now I'm gonna come up here to the X up in the corner and I'm gonna do a single left click and close it. There we go, so I'm gonna come over here and click once. And I'm gonna come over here and click twice. Click, click, up, oh, and I open it. Come over here and close it again. Single click on the X. Okay, so the left click can select once it can double click to open. And here's another cool thing that the left click can do. I can left click on this folder and not let go. I can hold down the button and then I can start moving around. Where do I want to put the folder? Okay, let's put it right there. Let go. Ah, oh, it just moved. So the left click can also move a folder by click, hold, drag, and drop click, hold, drag, and drop. Isn't that nice? Okay, the left click button. Now the right click button is a little more special. It really isn't something that you use very often. It's usually something for made for uh, a special thing. Here, I'm going to use the left, scoot this guy over. Now I'm going to click on it with the right button right now. Ready? Click. Ah, a drop down menu. So this right click has given me options to do a change to this folder. It gives me options to open it and explore it and do a whole bunch of fun little things down here with it. I can, you know, open up Adobe. I can send it to something. I can cut, copy, paste. So when we get into learning Microsoft Windows, we'll explain this uh, uh, menu just a little bit better to you. But just know that you have options. Right click is meant for options. So I'm just going to click off of it on the desktop one over here with the left side to tell it to just stop. I didn't mean it. So it's going to cancel that options. One click, single on the left, makes it go away. So now what if I right click on the desktop? Oh, different options. How about the garbage can? Even more different options. I think there was more options for the mouse buttons folder. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So each thing that you click on will give you different options for what you can do with it. So let me go over this again. With the left click, I can select something. With two left clicks, I can open it. Click, click. Come over here and click it once on the X to close. I can right click and get options for it. And those are the mechanics of the left and right clicks. Oh, I forgot, I can move it. Click, hold, drag, and drop. 
Very nice. But what about this scroll wheel? What does this do? Now, uh, for the scroll wheel, this, when, you're, when you have multiple pages in a file, it will scroll down through the file for you without having to go to the side and pull down the, uh, the gray bar on the right-hand side of the file. In this document that I opened, if you look, here, let me make it smaller here. If you look on the right-hand side, this bar is what I have to scroll through these pages and I have to constantly hold my finger on the mouse to try to scroll through these pages. Well what I can do is I'm going to do a left click with my mouse on the white space of anything in here. Just left click once. Click. Just to let the mouse know that you're talking about everything inside of this document. Then I'm going to click actually I'm going to click down once with the scroll wheel in the middle. Just push the button until it clicks. Ah it just made a little symbol in the middle. You see the symbol there with the two arrows and the dot in the middle? Now if I push up on the mouse, just a teeny little shove, just push the mouse, Don't, I'm not clicking any buttons or anything, I just push my little hand on that mouse and push it, shove it forward just a tiny bit. Oh, okay. Now let me push on the front of the mouse and push it backwards. I'm going to push the mouse backwards now. See how it's scrolling through the pages? and I can slow it down by shoving it forward or backwards. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit by just nudging it forward just a tiny bit. Come on, nudge it forward, nudge it forward. There we go. It's almost stopped. Let me pull it down a little more. Ooh, it's a little touchy. So uh, some mice are more sensitive than others, but that is how we use our lovely scroll wheel. So once again, we have the left click as a single click, the left click as a double click to open, one, two, close that with a single click. I do a right click to get menus for options of things, option for the trash can, option for the desktop, option for the manager, option for anything with the right click, and I can click and scroll with the scroll wheel if I'm in a document that's longer than what I wish to read. So. That is the conclusion of the mouse and, and buttons and how to use them tutorial.